Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to a sim racing product review. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but I wanted to discuss today the next level racing single monitor stand. Yes, this is not the most flashiest of product reviews that I've ever done. And in a lot of cases, a lot of people are going, why are we reviewing a monitor stand? In my opinion, this is one of the biggest upgrades you can do for a sim racing setup. Yes, you can get a better wheel, you can get a better pedal set, you can get a better shifter, but part of the immersion is taking that big step from having your TV on just some random piece of furniture to actually incorporating your monitor or TV into an actual setup. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today. So starting out, we have this wonderful package as we'll undo this box here, and then we'll see the actual item itself. And notice that there's a little bit of a puncture hole at the top there. It was probably due to shipping or something. I don't know, let's move on. So in the box, we have two leg brackets. We've got two lawn poles for where the feet are gonna be. We'll have two adjustable arms we'll call them and then we'll have a beam that goes across horizontally that keeps the legs together and then we'll have another bracket where the monitor will hang off of where there will be two little pieces that sit on top of this uh, adjustable bracket there of course we get lots and lots of screws and nuts and allen wrenches and wrenches and all sorts of goodies there um I'm going to be honest, there's going to be a lot more than you're going to need. Thankfully, they'll give you quite a few extras. So if you lose one or two screws, nuts and whatnot, it's going to be pretty easily replaceable there, which is quite nice. So as you can see here with the legs I'm assembling, I'm trying to make sure that the stickers are sticking outwards. And that's going to be kind of the recommendation is that you're making sure that all the uh, screws are going to be going in towards the center and then you're going to have the stickers kind of facing outwards if at all possible there that's just kind of a personal preference to make sure everything looks good so get all of that together then we'll put these kind of uh this arm in the middle and you connect the legs to that part and then we'll put the adjustable arms in up at the top and then this next part is a little bit interesting because in the instructions First of all, if uh, you make mention here, I'll actually post a couple screenshots of the instructions. For whatever reason, I'm not sure. They just forget to include diagrams of the nuts themselves. It just shows that you attach screws to nothing. And then you take a look at the instructions and it doesn't even show the screws when they're installed, which is a little bit odd. So make sure that you're using the uh, nuts on the other side of the screws to keep everything intact. Furthermore, while we've got this top upper part, uh, it says to install at the very top, but uh, I will say this from recommendation or rather future Matt, uh, looking back at this instruction portion, uh, don't do all the way up top. You are not eight feet tall when you're in a sitting position. You're gonna wanna install the monitor or TV quite a ways down from, from that top part. So. I don't know, maybe one or two holes down from the bottom. That will be a pretty good spot for where at least my next level racing wheel stand 2.0 is sitting where nothing is going to be covering the bottom of the screen there. So then finally, we'll install the uh, kind of TV monitor brackets there. And then voila, after we get the feet installed, it's a massive hunk of metal and we finally get a sense of the scale here uh this next part i won't bore you but i had to undo a wall mount and switch out tvs there and then finally this is my seating position prior to when the old tv was sitting on top of the tv stand and this is now my new seating position going back you'll see that um this is kind of why I say that you want to lower the monitor because this is even already after lowering it one or two spots and it's still way too high. <sighs> oh my God, look at that. This is quite the difference. All right, so we're finally in a race and my God, is it a world of difference. So keep in mind, both of the TVs that I have 
or 1080p 32 inches so i've got the original setup was a monitor or a tv about six seven feet away and then now this is within like three feet maybe of where my eyesight is and I wish I could tell the diff, or like describe the difference to you, because it is such a awesome, sensational difference. Because originally, it being so far away, you really felt like you were playing a game. But this, because it's so close, the sense of immersion is so much better. Like now, I can kind of see in the peripherals along the side of my car where I'd probably be able to see where somebody is starting to sneak up alongside me. I really couldn't before. But something to keep in mind. I wouldn't call it a negative or wouldn't call it a disappointment but just to keep in mind that when you're moving your monitor so much further forward closer towards you it is You'll notice that instinctively you're looking towards the middle of the screen. So you're able to sense depth perception quite a bit better. But one of the negatives to go t with it is that your eyes are having to move a lot further than they used to. I'm noticing that, you know, before I could basically in the peripherals tell what my lap time was pretty much at all times because the, the lap timer was like right above where my eyes were looking when you're you know looking towards the apex or looking for vehicles coming you know that you're catching up to now it's like you have to physically look up further i know the monitor is a little bit high so i can adjust that and make it a little bit better so it isn't as far out of range but again same thing with the peripherals now like i have to really make a conscious effort so like all the way down in the corner and it's almost to the point where you have to move your neck almost to see you know the lap time down to the bottom left and then move up to the top left to see you know the gap between yourself and second place and then you move up to the top right to see where you are on the map and your list of lap times so again it's not really a negative per se because the trade-off is that the monitor fills your field of view and again just increases that level of immersion tenfold it no longer feels like you're really playing much of of course you're playing a game but like when you're looking across the room you seem less involved but with this you see i see very much more involved and it's really interesting because before i didn't worry about like my central seating position but now when i'm sitting here it's like kind of weird that you're in an american muscle car and you're sitting dead center it's almost like you want to adjust the camera so you're a little bit more offset so you're a little bit more with the realism so it's pretty interesting all right i'm going to restart this race one last time just because i was on that tangent i kind of want to see the difference so if this is the camera angle yeah you guys don't really see it that's fine whoa holy crap that is absolutely <laughs> again you guys think i'm exaggerating but again this is so different now that everything is so close i think this might be like my new preferred driving angle or camera angle at least because it's like you're in the car yeah the car angle is a little bit interesting because you really can't see that peripheral as well as like the bumper cam so i, I don't know if i'm going to completely change over but yeah this is <laughs> oh wow so when you get started in sim racing for the first time and you start out with like your logic tech wheel and you're getting into gran turismo and whatnot i think it's really easy to lose sight of the overall goal when it comes to sim racing so like you see these direct drive wheels and you see these like load cell pedals and you see these shifters and you see this that the other thing 
and you kind of lose sight of of the experience and with all the peripherals that i've acquired throughout the years of all the different things that i've tested whether it be like the next level racing kind of cushion where it gives like that sensation which honestly now they look back on it, it was a pretty cool thing to testing out various direct drive wheels to testing out various different wheels i think at the end of the day the biggest change that you can do is get a monitor stand i did not realize how big of a difference it would make between all the other peripherals and, and just having it closer so for 200 bucks it is a fantastic fantastic product to get i think it's before you get like before you get like wheel stands and this that the other thing get a monitor stand get a 32 inch monitor 1080p 4k whatever you want doesn't matter get the monitor stand first i think it's that important before you get direct drive wheels before you get seats before you get all that stuff get a monitor stand make sure that whatever you're looking at fills your field of view field of vision because i think that's going to be the biggest difference between all the other things that you can get peripheral wise to get the greatest sense of immersion so i'm astonished like the build quality is fantastic it is pretty easy to put together but took me half an hour maybe maybe and the results are incredible so please absolutely get a monitor stand i am an ecstatic customer as as this is it's just this is awesome so if you guys enjoyed this content make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what your guys's opinions are if you've had kind of the same experience as me when it comes to getting your first monitor stand versus not you know um let me know down in the comment section what you guys are all thinking because man oh man am i am just absolutely impressed so um again thanks so much for watching hope you guys have a great day today take care bye